Dawit Isaac is a Swedish Eritrean playwright, journalist and writer, who has been held in prison in Eritrea since 2001 without trial and is considered a traitor by the Eritrean government. Amnesty International considers him a prisoner of conscience and has called for his immediate and unconditional release. For years, he was the only Swedish citizen held as a prisoner of conscience. Isaac came to Sweden in August 1987, where he settled in the west coast city of Gothenburg and became a Swedish citizen on November 4, 1992. When Eritrea gained independence, Isaac returned to his native country, married and had children. He began working as a reporter for the country's first independent newspaper, SETI. Eventually, he became a part owner of the newspaper. Possible replica of the prison cell of Dawit Isaac, exhibited at Mediitagarna i Uteborg, March 2015 on September 23, 2001, Isaac was arrested in his home in Asmara, Eritrea. At the same time, 10 other independent journalists and 11 prominent reformist politicians of the so-called G15 were arrested, ostensibly for demanding democratic reforms in a series of letters to President Isaiah Zafwerki. The independent press, including the SETI newspaper, had covered the confrontation between the president and the reformers. In April 2002, CPJ, the Committee to Protect Journalists, reported that Isaac was hospitalized due to torture. The Eritrean government denied that he has been tortured, but did not allow anyone to visit him. Isaac had not been tried before a court. Because he held dual Swedish and Eritrean citizenship, Swedish authorities began working for his release, using silent diplomacy according to government sources. On November 19, 2005, Isaac was released from jail, and according to official Eritrean sources, he was released only to see a doctor. After only two days of freedom, and while on his way to the hospital, Isaac was imprisoned again. He is believed to be held in Karchal prison in central Asmara. Every week, a number of organizations, including Reporters Without Borders and the National Press Club, petitioned the Eritrean embassy in Stockholm to free Isaac. On March 27, 2009, four of the five largest newspapers in Sweden, often blot it, Expressen, Dagens Nyheter, and Svenska Dagbladet, featured a plea for the release of Isaac on their front pages. In addition, the five newspapers will feature joint reports on Isaac's situation, and a joint petition was handed over to the Eritrean embassy in Stockholm on 4th of May. By 4th of May, 209,963 people had signed the petition. On May 26, 2009, during an interview with the Swedish TV4 the president of Eritrea dismissed the case altogether with the words we will not have any trial and we will not free him. We know how to handle his kind. And to me, Sweden is irrelevant. The Swedish government has nothing to do with us. The silent diplomacy method that the Swedish authorities have employed to work for Isaac's release has been criticized by the Swedish media, and the president of the Swedish branch of Reporters Without Borders. Jesper Bengtsson, issued a statement in April 2010, saying that, IT is a disgrace that Dawit remains in prison and it is remarkable that the Swedish government does not try harder to get him released. After the release of the Albanian-American pilot James Burisha, the first deputy prime minister of Kosovo, Bikajet Pakli, will start a new mission in Eritrea for the release of Isaac. On several occasions, rumors have circulated that Isaac is no longer alive, the most recent of which was on October 27, 2011, his 47th birthday, when Swedish commercial radio channel Radio 1 claimed that Dawit Isaac could well be dead. In April 2012, rumors of his death once again began circulating when several Eritrean politicians stated that he had died in prison. When a government official from Eritrea was confronted about the rumors during an interview in Sweden, he avoided the question and refused to answer. Thanks for watching.